raising the flag to celebrate two decades of independence. For these crowds in the capital's main square, this young country has a proud history that stretches far beyond the last 20 years. But images of nationhood in Skopje are causing problems in neighboring Athens. Well, this is the real star of the celebration, a colossal statue towering in the middle of the square. Its official name, a warrior on horseback. But to everyone here, he is Alexander the Great. Greece says its neighbor is forging history by stealing Greek names and national heroes. A region in the north of Greece is also called Macedonia, sparking fears in Athens of future territorial claims from across the border. They also say that Alexander the Great was in fact Greek and not from here. I don't care if the Greeks are unhappy about it. I'm only interested in what Macedonians think about this monument. If they think Alexander the Great was Greek, they should be happy that another nation erected a statue of him. I think Greece is being irrational. The statue is the highlight of the capital's building Bonanza. Triumphal arches, grandiose buildings and countless statues are giving Skopje an expensive facelift. It looks so beautiful. This is just the beginning. I am so proud of being Macedonian right now. But giving Skopje a monumental appearance will cost almost $300 million. Too much, critics say, for a country where unemployment is more than 30 percent and a third of the population lives below the poverty line. It's inexcusable that on one hand we have villages without running water, paved roads and sewage systems, and in the meantime we are throwing the money for this project away. They're forgetting there is more to Macedonia than just Skopje. The cost of Alexander's statue alone was $7 million. If it further impedes its relations with the outside world, the price this country will pay for it will be much higher. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Skopje.